Hello brothers and sisters, this is uh, Christina speaking and I hope you are doing well and so I have a message from the Lord but before I share it I want to confess that I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God who has come in flesh on earth and died for our sins and was buried and rose on the third day. Hallelujah. Amen. I am going to share with you a dream I had from the Lord yesterday, which is about the rapture, and also I will share with you a few scriptures from the Lord with the message for all of us. Yesterday I had a dream in which I saw a man standing before me. He was screaming and saying, the rapture is happening, the rapture is happening. The rapture is happening. He said that three times. Then I saw the darkness covering the earth. The dream ended. The Lord said that indeed we are in the timing of the rapture and the tribulation, brothers and sisters. He gave me a few scriptures which will help you to understand the timing we are living in. The Lord wants you to read and study these scriptures. Pray and seek Him for discernment, understanding and confirmation. And so He gave me Matthew 24, Luke 12, Luke 21, Isaiah 60, and pay attention to verse 2, and Psalm 45, which is about the wedding. I am going to read Luke 12 from verse 35 to 40, and this is about the rapture. Let your waist be guarded, and your lamps burning and you yourselves be like men who wait for their master when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, they may open to him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. Assuredly, I say to you, that he will guard himself and have them sit down to eat and will come and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief will come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore, you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Luke 21, verse 36, Watch therefore, and pray always, that you might be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. Brothers and sisters, nobody knows the day or the hour except God alone, and this is why we must watch, pray, and be ready every day. You must understand that watching, praying, and being ready every day is not just about the rapture. Consider that you might die today. We are seeing many people dying every day. Understand that if you die without 
having received and accepted Jesus Christ as your God and Savior, you are not saved. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. There is no other way. John 14, verse 6, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. Brothers and sisters, please help me to share this message because many souls are not saved. The time is running out. If you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, turn to him right now. Receive and accept him as your God and Savior. Believe in him and repent all your sins before it is too late. Repentance means go and sin no more. Hebrews 12, verse 14. We must live a holy life and pursue peace with all people. Without doing that, no one will see the Lord God. This is the word of God, brothers and sisters. Your personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is a must. You alone can make it. Brothers and sisters, I hope you are keeping your house in order. We don't have much time left. Now I'm going to share with you other scriptures with the message from the Lord. And this message is for all of us. We are all the creations of God. And God does not wish anyone to perish. Galatians chapter 3, verse 29, verse 28 and 29. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ is, then you are Abraham is the seed, and heirs according to the promise. This is a great message for all of us. If you want to understand the distinctions of Jew and a Greek, slave and a free, and male and female, you might read Genesis 17 from verse 9 to 14. In this scripture, the Apostle Paul announces that the era of such divisions is over. And so, Galatians 3 verse 28 explains in what respect the relationships of Jew and a Greek, slave and a free, and male and a female are abolished. For we are one person in Christ, brothers and sisters. Romans 10, verse 13. 
For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Brothers and sisters, the Lord wants you to understand this very important scripture because many don't understand it. And so he wants you to understand the meaning of calling on the name of the Lord to be saved. In order to understand it is, he wants you to read Acts chapter 2. In Acts chapter 2, there were about 3,000 saved. You can read verse 41. The same verse tells us what they did to call on the name of the Lord or to be saved. They received the word of God. They were baptized and they believed in Jesus and repented. They got baptized for forgiveness of sin. And so you can also read Romans 10 from verse 9 to 10 in order to understand this message, brothers and sisters. And so Romans 10 verse 13 which says, for whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved, means you receive the word of God, you believe in Jesus Christ, you repent all your sins and get baptized for forgiveness of sin. And so, calling on the name of the Lord to be saved does not mean just to say it or just to call the name of the Lord. You must receive the word of God, believe in Jesus Christ, repent all your sins, and get baptized of water and spirit. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. God is so good, brothers and sisters. He does not wish anyone to perish. We are all creations of God, and whoever we call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is a good news. Please share this good news with our brothers and sisters. No matter what you have done, it does not matter how many sins you have committed against God and your brothers and sisters. If you recognize you are a sinner and turn to Jesus Christ and humble yourself before him and repent 
all your sins. He will forgive you. You must do this quickly. We don't have much time left. And so, um, our Heavenly Father is calling all believers to pray for our enemies and those who persecute us, including unbelievers. Remember, brothers and sisters, that part of our Lord Jesus Christ's mission was to seek and save the lost. You can read Luke 19 and pay attention to verse 10. When we pray for the salvation of others, we are praying in line with the heart of our Lord Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters. Remember, without love, forgiveness, and peace with all, no one will see God. I know this is hard to take, but without love, forgiveness, and peace with all, no one will see God. Please love one another, including our enemies. Pray for one another. Time is very short. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in your Son's name, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen.